My name is Gary Leroy, and I want to welcome you to this brief introduction to the tax preparation industry. There are two general categories of home-based businesses. The most popular example of a home-based business is the direct marketing model. Direct marketers sell a variety of products and services, and we often refer to these as lotions, potions, products, and services. While a few individuals earn considerable commissions from this type of business, the majority earn little financial reward for the work performed. The highest incomes come to the individuals that are the best at recruiting. The overwhelming majority of direct marketers earn less than $3,000 per year. A tax preparer, on the other hand, can earn significantly more than this in just their second season of work in a general tax office. However, there is a better way. Professionals working from their homes can earn substantially more income. Included in the home-based professionals are consultants, bookkeepers, accountants, and tax professionals. But why the tax preparation industry? Well, there are four key reasons to enter the tax industry. First, there is job security, given the complexity of the tax code. Second, the tax preparation industry provides the opportunity for a true home-based business. Third, you have the opportunity to establish yourself as a true professional. And fourth, you control your own future. As this graph demonstrates, the vast majority of tax preparers are non-regulated. This means they have no requirement and generally no motivation to learn about the tax law, other than learning how their tax software works. From a consumer standpoint, they have no way of demonstrating their competence in the tax field. The new commissioner, John Koskinen, has indicated a strong interest in offering a voluntary program to allow these non-enrolled tax preparers to demonstrate a basic skill level that sets them apart from the other non-enrolled tax preparers. The commissioner's approach provides a basic level of certification whereby these non-enrolled preparers can demonstrate their competence through continuing education and an annual exam on tax updates. So how does an individual enter the tax preparation industry? Well, the traditional approach is to get your training and start out with a branded tax firm. Most first-year preparers will start at $10 an hour, work the peak shifts, and prepare the most basic of returns. They will generally only work for a few weeks when the company processes the largest number of returns. Generally, they will also sign a non-compete clause that prohibits them from opening their own tax business for a two-year period of time. However, there is another way to enter the business. The entrepreneurial approach involves acquiring basic training through self-study or guided study, creating a virtual business model, and then beginning to prepare returns for a focused clientele. With this approach, your earnings can be upward of $100 per hour for the time that you spend actually preparing taxes. Each year, your business should grow as you retain a high percent of your prior year's client base. You will also enjoy job security due to the complicated tax code and the lack of congressional will to simplify the code. Plus, you have the added complication of the Affordable Care Act. The keys to your success in this industry will depend on your ability to network, to focus on servicing your clients, developing your skills, and maintaining a low overhead. The tax industry truly presents a professional, home-based business opportunity. You do not need a physical office location apart from your home. Your credibility extends beyond a physical location. Your knowledge defines your credibility as you demonstrate your increasing knowledge of taxation law. You establish yourself as a professional as you commit to increasing your tax knowledge. Your knowledge will increase as you continue your education to earn professional credentials. And it accelerates as you surround yourself with like-minded professionals. With this career choice, you control your own future by determining your personal income goals, defining your right and perfect client profile, and by recognizing your success will require a slow, focused build that will generate long-term results. It is equally important that you have a reality check before taking your next steps into this rewarding field. Understand you will not get rich quick. However, the rewards are not far down the road, but you must invest in yourself. You will need to invest time, talent, and treasure in this new venture. You must be willing to balance your time between your current income source and your preparation for this new opportunity, and you must be able to pay attention to the details. As we stated before, you must invest time, talent, and resources before you will reap any financial rewards. Remember, in the beginning, you will spend more time preparing for your business than actually doing your business. 
Your initial income stream will not begin until the next tax season begins. So now let's look at some steps to success. First, you must commit to this business opportunity. You must determine your business name and structure, and then you must register your domain name for your website and reserve your trade name with your state government. Your business name should be professional, not cute. Keep it simple and easy to remember. Keep your business name relevant to your new industry. If you plan to expand into other service areas, such as bookkeeping or payroll, make sure your name will fit. And as stated earlier, make sure your chosen name is available. Next, you must determine your business structure. While many small businesses begin as sole proprietorships, you may want to enter the business with another partner. For added protection, you might want to consider a limited liability company to provide corporate level protection for you and your business. Depending on the scope and scale of your business venture, you may want to even consider a corporate structure. Next, you want to get an employer identification number from the IRS. There is no cost and it sets your business up as a separate entity. You will also want to verify the registration and reporting requirements for your state, county, and city. Then you will want to establish your presence by securing a phone number and a fax number. You can do this very inexpensively with Magic Jack, Google Phone, or Ring Central. You may also want a business address apart from your home. At a basic level, UPS offers business mail services similar to a P.O. box, however with a physical address. A step up from this would be a corporate office suite that offers a business address and possibly mail and answering services for around $100 a month. Open your business bank account as soon as you have completed your filings for your organizational type and local registrations. If you are operating as a sole proprietor or partnership, you will probably need to register with your local government or state government prior to opening your account. Order your business cards and begin to promote your business. You can create a simple website for a small amount of money and begin your networking immediately. I also recommend you start keeping financial records immediately. One of my preferred accounting systems is from waveapps.com. It's simple, free, and comprehensive. Here's a video that describes this tool. Thanks for watching this overview of WAVE, a fully integrated financial tool for small businesses. Featuring our award-winning, easy-to-use, 100% free double-entry cloud accounting application. WAVE is an integrated suite of cloud-based software designed specifically for small businesses. It features double-entry accounting, invoicing, payroll, credit card payment processing, and personal finance. Let's jump right in. We make it easy for a small business owner to register transactions without requiring an advanced understanding of accounting. On the transaction screen, you can view your transactions that are downloaded from your bank or credit card and categorize them with a click. Wave will learn how you categorize transactions and will automatically categorize similar transactions in the future. On any transaction, you can apply sales taxes, split the transaction, or take a number of other actions. With each action you take, WAVE creates the appropriate journal transaction behind the scenes to give you proper double-entry accounting records. You can even move transactions from business to personal and WAVE will generate the proper owner's draw or shareholder loan. For accountants, bookkeepers, or business owners who want to access more sophisticated accounting tools, this is where you can review and modify the chart of accounts and set up opening balances for a new business. You can also make journal transactions manually. A requirement of a true double entry platform. All financial statements and reporting a small business needs are located here. Waves reports include a balance sheet, income statement, account transaction report, detailed aged reports, gain and loss on foreign currency, and more. The income statement shows some of the power at your fingertips. I can set the date range, 
drill down to one of my revenue streams. Again, drill down to a specific time period. All the way to an income entry I need to scrutinize. All the reports are this easy to use, making Wave a great way to collaborate with your small business clients and in real time. We'll get to that a little later. Invoicing by Wave is a powerful, free, and customizable invoicing product. It's simple to create new invoices, create recurring invoices, create new invoices based on previous invoices, and create quotes or estimates. What makes this truly powerful is that all invoices created and paid are immediately reconciled in your financial transactions. Wave integrates all the data in the right places, so you never need to duplicate work to keep records up to date. The business owner controls the life cycle of the invoice by customizing the invoice template, sending the invoice by email, or by PDF and sending automatic reminders. The customer can view the invoice on an elegant web page. And most importantly, business owners can now accept credit card payments using Payments by Wave. Our data shows that businesses accepting credit card payments get paid an average of 12 days faster. Receipts by Wave offers free fully integrated receipt scanning that flows right into WAVE. Receipts can be uploaded right in WAVE or you can email a receipt in or scan it using our iPhone or Android apps. WAVE then uses optical character recognition to pull the information from your receipt to eliminate data entry. It's a great way to complete your records and audit proof your business by ensuring all transactions have proper documentation attached. Wave elegantly matches receipts you upload with existing transactions too, to eliminate unnecessary duplicates. Wave's custom settings are simple to manage. If you ever need to change your login credentials, you can do so by clicking on the account tab and choosing your profile. On the credentials tab, you can change your password or configure the primary and secondary owners of the account. From the Business tab, you can add unlimited businesses. By becoming a member of Wave Labs, you will receive early access to new features before they are rolled out, so you can provide feedback. You can easily connect a bank or credit card to Wave, so that transactions are imported automatically. Under the Account tab, Click on Connect Your Bank Account and type in the name of your financial institution. Wave connects to over 10,000 financial institutions, including banks, credit cards, and credit unions. Follow the on-screen instructions and Wave will check back daily to keep your transactions up to date. Wave also offers a number of seamless integrations with other applications like Shoebox.com and PayPal. For even more detailed configuration, let's take a look at the functions under the gear icon. Under the Financial Settings link, you can start to see the accounting powerhouse WAVE truly is. You can adjust the basics like the fiscal reporting period and the currency the business uses as its own. Yes, WAVE is a full multi-currency application. We touched on the invoicing customization. Wave empowers you to place your logo and branding clearly and attractively onto four distinct invoice template styles. Under Products, you can list and create products and or services you buy and sell, including the default price. These products will appear as options when you create invoices and bills in the future. Your customer's screen is where you can create a database of people and companies you sell to and vendors you buy products and services from. You will also find tools to create custom sales taxes and to sign up for payments by Wave credit card processing. As I mentioned earlier, this is where you'll find your guest collaborator settings. Need to export or want a local copy of your data? No problem. 
Wave can export all of your data into Excel or CSV formats, and you can easily export the images of your receipts to a zip file. We love our accountant and bookkeeper partners, so we've created the Wave Pro Network. It's free and helps us connect you with hundreds of thousands of Wave customers who are looking for a Wave-friendly accountant to work with. Business owners can find Wave Pros like you in the directory under the Support tab. Thanks for checking out what Wave has to offer. Please sign up for Wave today and join the Wave Pro Network. Together, we're changing the way small business owners handle their finances and run seamless and profitable businesses. As you begin to network, ask permission to add your contacts to your newsletter list. I recommend MailChimp.com as a great place to start, and it's free for your basic needs. Send a monthly newsletter to your contacts, sharing the aha moments you glean from your learning. Promote the type of business you are seeking. Here's another video that describes how MailChimp works. Hi there, it's Chris Hamilton here with Sales Tip A Day, www.salestipaday.com. And today I'm going to show you a great little program you can use for your email marketing called MailChimp. And um, I use a couple different services. I use Aweber and I just started using MailChimp. And I use MailChimp, their free version. Uh, as opposed to the paid version just because I'm testing it out right now but I thought I'd actually share this out with you because it's so simple to use um, go to MailChimp.com and I'm just going to show you really quickly they actually have a forever free plan where you can get up to 2,000 subscribers and send up to 1,200 emails a month so if you have 2,000 subscribers it means you can send six emails a month out which is a phenomenal deal um, against the uh, for this service uh, that you have but uh, just to show you how easy it is to actually use uh, I've created a couple of campaigns. Um, I've got one for uh, Jeffrey Gittimer's new book uh, giveaway. I actually uh, it was uh, put some content in that book, and I was pl uh, blasting it out to a bunch of people that I know. But I'm going to show you one of my weekly, biweekly webcasts uh, that I do. Uh, so I'm going to walk you through just really quickly how easy this thing is. So I'm going to go and uh, just show you exactly what you do. So what you do is you create a list that you're going to send something to. So I've got this one which would be uh, the Refreshed IT slash Sales Tip a Day netcast that I do on a regular basis. Um, once you've created a list and inputted in people into this, so that's another thing you can do. You can take email names and put them into this or you can also build a contact form where people can actually uh, register and you can capture emails. Uh, but the first things first, you get a list going. So you can take Excel, dump that into uh, MailChimp, um, and numerous other ways that you can actually put uh, put information in. But that first thing is create a list. Your second thing that you end up doing is um, you start moving through this process, and it gets you to a point where, just bear with me for a sec here, you put the information in on the contact that or on the campaign that you have. So. Uh, I've just nailed or uh, uh, made this a bi-weekly uh, webcast and the message title and you put uh, who it's coming from and also where uh, there's a reply email and if you want um, this will uh, put information in for the person's first name for the email that comes in. The other thing too is track the open, see who's actually opened up and gone through. If you have a Twitter account or Facebook you can put your information on that. So that's the, uh, the second phase that you do with this one. Very quickly, that took me all of about uh, one minute to, to put together. Uh, so once I put the list in and you got one minute to put it together, then what you do is you can actually create a templated uh, email. So uh, unfortunately, I have one that's actually done right now, but they have a bunch of templates that you can pick from to create your email with, and you just fill the content in. Uh, on your email. So this one here, I have the existing content, maybe took me five, ten minutes to pull together. Uh, you can change the different uh, views on what it is and different colors and stuff down the uh, right hand side here. So once again, build the list, two, put the information in that uh, is going out to people, and three is actually build the email. Now the other one too is basically putting it into a plain text message. Um, Sometimes people's emails will get uh, what they call the HTML emails and put them in a spam filter so you can actually send it as a plain text as well. So that's basically done for you. And last but not least, then you start putting the parameters in place of actually how you send your email out. And um, 
So what happens is it says that you know on the list wise you've got so many going out to. Here's your subject line. Here's your reply who it's going to. You've chosen to get tracking. You're sending an, e an HTML email out. Um, you are also sending a plain text email out if uh, people will not get the uh, the uh, HTML. Um, and uh, just down at the bottom here, I'll skip the last two. It doesn't really matter about those ones. Um, but you schedule the delivery, and I have this scheduled for. Uh, tomorrow at 7.45 a.m. And the reason I picked 7.45 a.m. is it just gets there as people are arriving into their, um, uh, into work so that they'll be, they'll, this will be one of the top emails that actually hits their, uh, their in bin. And they'll have a likely, a higher likelihood of actually, uh, opening it. And then last but not least, you just put schedule and guess what? Voila, I'm done. That's how easy it is to create an email campaign that goes out. Um, the longest time-consuming part of this is actually creating the template or picking the template and getting the colors that you want and then just putting the content in. But literally, like I say, that took me about 10 minutes to pull that sort of stuff together. So that's how you use MailChimp with a free service to actually uh, inform your clients on a regular basis of uh, information that you might have that you want to, uh, to share with them. So I hope you find that of use. And for daily sales and marketing tips, go to www.salestipaday.com or feel free to reach out to me at chris at salestipaday.com. Thanks for viewing. Remember, you want to inform, not pester your mail list. I recommend a monthly mailing, preferably on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. Share what you have learned in your studies. Be on the lookout for those aha moments when you learn something you never thought of. Your potential clients may not have thought of that as well, and it will help you promote your business by speaking to your right and perfect client, the type of individual you want to serve. Set specific goals focused on the number of new additions you want for your mail list each week. Set educational goals for what you want to accomplish before the next tax season arrives. Remember, your tax knowledge builds your credibility and expands your audience. Mobilize your current contact list. Identify which people are in your zone of confidence and ask permission to add them to your mail list. Deepen the relationships with your existing contacts to convert them into centers of influence for your new business. When you hear of individuals that are struggling with tax issues, offer to help. If their need is beyond your skill level, refer them to a competent individual that can help them and share your vision for your business with those you come in contact with. Your credibility and your success in the tax preparation industry depends on the initial training you receive, the continuing education you commit to obtain, and the advanced expertise you gain by pursuing your enrolled agent status, and then by the professional associations you maintain. There is a hierarchy of knowledge in the tax preparation industry. The lowest level of knowledge rests with those tax preparers that rely on their tax software to guide them through the process. The ASFC certification, recently introduced by the IRS Commissioner, provides a basic knowledge level for those paid preparers that serve the needs of taxpayers with routine tax returns. The IRS recognizes the Enrolled Agent designation as the highest credential the IRS awards. It goes on to state that individuals who obtain this elite status must adhere to ethical standards and complete 72 hours of continuing education courses every three years. Too many paid tax preparers rely on their tax software to guide them through the tax preparation process. These preparers are nothing more than untrained intermediaries that add little if any value to the taxpayer who relies on them for their services. While they may be proficient at inputting data into their computer, they know little about the underlying knowledge of tax law and its application. The new ASFC certification provides a basic level of recognition which recognizes the paid preparer's knowledge in the area of individual taxation, business taxation, and ethics. The ASFC also acknowledges that the preparer has passed a comprehensive course on tax year updates. The enrolled agent designation is earned by passing a series of three comprehensive exams covering individual taxation, business taxation, and ethics. Once the candidate passes these three exams, they must submit their fingerprints and pass a background check to ensure their suitability to practice. 
Enrolled agents receive a federal license from the U.S. Treasury, and this license gives the enrolled agent unlimited practice rights before any jurisdiction of the IRS, regardless of location. The National Association of Enrolled Agents, NAEA, is a national association of over 11,000 independent licensed tax professionals. NAEA is dedicated to helping its members maintain the highest level of knowledge, skills, and professionalism in all areas of taxation so that members may most effectively represent the needs of their clients. We recommend the following education track for those wishing to establish themselves as tax professionals. Our education program supports this model. We recommend you begin immediately to earn the AFSC certification using our e-learning model in partnership with Fast Forward Academy, one of the leading online educators in the tax field. Once you have completed the AFSC certification, you are prepared to pass the Special Enrollment Exam, Part 1, which is the first exam in the enrolled agent sequence. You are now ready to enter your first year of tax preparation to gain valuable practical experience in the profession. Meanwhile, you will have access to all of the e-learning materials and supporting material to serve as your guidance material whenever you need some additional help. Once you have completed your first year of tax preparation, you are positioned to take our e-learning courses combined with Fast Forward Academy online materials to prepare and pass Parts 2 and 3 of the SEE, the Special Enrollment Exam, on your way to earning the Enrolled Agent designation. With the testing behind you, you are ready to begin to accelerate the credibility and growth of your practice while your application is processed. Your basic and continuing education will, in large measure, determine your success in the tax preparation industry. We take a unique approach to tax education. We combine e-learning, printed text, unlimited online drills, and dynamic competence evaluations to provide you with a 21st century learning environment. We provide training and testing to fulfill all required core elements of the Voluntary Certification Program. Additionally, we provide a special discount for the Tax Update course and exam. Finally, we offer coaching for the Special Enrollment Exam, Part 1. While we believe we bring added value through our e-learning experience, we recognize that some people want to use a do-it-yourself plan without the added materials. So we offer two tracks as represented in this chart. The enhanced approach provides e-learning videos, professional coaching, email support, and testing for the CE credit required for the basic coursework leading to the AFSC certification. Please note this training and testing apply to the basic course structure of the AFSC. One additional tax year update course is required with a corresponding 100 question test for the AFSC certification. Please contact us for additional details on the rollout of this program.